Hi, <coughs> welcome back to the course of reservoir simulation. And uh, we are discussing in the pre we discussed in the previous lecture about Python, about NumPy, SimPy, and we saw some limits and uh, derivatives and integration and basic calculus in the Python software. Well, that was just an introduction, <coughs> and uh, we have some more assignments to do in uh, pre in Python, which are related with the reservoir engineering calculations and so on. Now, um, moving ahead in the subject of reservoir simulation, it is time to discuss the basic equations in which these reservoir simulation simulators are made. Well, in this lecture, uh, lecture is made by this NTNU University and by the professor there. And uh, we would like to acknowledge and thank them for uh, providing such a nice presentation to us for our students, <coughs> for our students. So let's look ahead and uh, talk about the, <coughs> the, the basic equations used in reservoir simulation. So the presentation has, these are the main points of the presentation that we are going to discuss. We will discuss conservation of mass, conservation of momentum, equations, the black oil models, black oil model parameters, their flow equation, what are the boundary conditions, equations for the multi-phase flow, multi-dimensional flow, <coughs> coordinate systems, and so on. So this is just an overview of the subject that we are. Well, first of all, let me tell you that if we have the reservoir something like this, something like this, sorry, my hand is not that good. These are the perforation that we used to make. Okay, let me cancel it and make it again. Suppose we have well like this one. These are the perforations. And our This is the other why we have. So this is so now whatever oil we have here, whatever oil we have here, uh, whatever here, here, or here, here, here. Well, this oil, for example, let's the oil drop is here or here. So now this oil can travel in this direction, can this direction, can this direction, can this go the head down. So it can go in any direction actually so the oil flow could have three directions at least x y or z or you know the coordination of x y and z this is the first thing secondly the sometime whenever we talk about the reservoirs which uh, look like this so the, the we divide always into the three sections. we say this is the gas this is oil and this is water so water oil and gas and based on the density they are differentiated so now we can say in reservoirs we have three phases one two and three gas oil and water and we have three dimensional flow okay then the direction of flow flow could be linear like it moves in a straight direction flow could be let's say uh, radial like it goes in round direction huh? or <coughs> so in both direction fluid can flow these are the things then the pressure behaviors we will talk about it pressure but right now let's talk about it so there is a reservoir simulator based of three set of equations we say mass momentum energy conservation equations this is the first thing well as i said that we could have three dimensions we could have three different uh, fluids, uh, fluids and we could have different temperatures and so on but since this is the basic equation we are discussing so what we are trying to do we are going to talk in one dimension system only means the whatever oil we have it flows in one direction like this and linear i mean it's not radial like this one like this one or like it is linear means straight it is flowing 
like this one like this one and one dimensions means going only in one direction and uh, it could be extended to two or three and other coordinate systems and so on and we are talking about single phase whether and most probably is oil we are talking about single phase we say that our reservoir has oil basically it just shows the basic equation but these are motor and reservoir simulated has three phases three direction three dimension and has the temperature control also at the same time so but in this one we just use a simple one so let's look at it what is conservation of mass conservation of mass well uh, in order to derive the conservation of mass i always give an example that uh, assume the you have a round pizza uh, pizza that you eat it looks like something like this one and then what we do we divide into the pieces then we divide into the pieces then and then we take out the one piece we take out let's say this piece this piece we take out and we taste it okay once we take out this piece okay we taste it we tell we, we know what's going on in all this pizza you know the taste what it has what it doesn't have and based on this size we can know how much is the total it can compensate us all of us or not so likewise this here as i said in order to be the simplest form we are not talking about the radial round pizza type but we are talking about the simple linear flow mean moving in a straight line from here and what we want to know that how much mass is conserved inside this one remember that we cannot touch the reservoir we cannot reach the reservoir physically all we can do is imagination and based on imagination we look for uh, our <coughs> equations and reservoir simulators so in this case we say that okay this is our reservoir it's a slab type okay it's one dimension it's only in one dimension flowing in one dimension x direction okay there is a fluid let's say oil fluid which we consider it incompressible the oil is coming going inside from here and coming out of here this is the simplest form and uh, this is the conservation of mass basic rule okay now this is the same picture in the one now we talk about here a control volume here this one this piece we call it delta x this piece so mass which we call it mass here the mass is equal velocity density okay this is the equation of mass velocity what's the density so this is the mass in and then we we convert it in okay mass in and here is mass out directly at this point here is mass out so the same equation velocity multiplied by energy mass in but now velocity and velocity density and we will write out okay mass in mass out and then whatever it is inside the accumulated one we talk about it so let's look at it how it does same equation we will talk about mass into the element minus mass out of element okay we are talking about this control volume this delta x so the distance we talk about from here to here is x so mass entering into side this x is this one mass out which is going from here so is going from here is x plus delta x so x plus delta x and when we minus both of them we got the rate of change of mass inside this element so fast forward this is the density uh, this is the density this is the velocity this u is the velocity and a is the area x is 
we talk about the entering x plus z that outside and this one considering the porous volume because we are talking about the porous volume so we put the porosity term here we have area and we have delta h and density and we t over delta t we do to this is the equation of conservation of mass for one how this is derived it is based on this one we are just reviewing them we are not here deriving them so you just have to remember them these are the equation in order for the derivation i will put the the notes where you can find all the derivation of this and follow it up so in final conclusion you get this conservation of mass equation and how to derive it i will put a note on it and how to make it okay this is the <coughs> the conservation of mass equation and then what we do we divide it by the delta x and we take the limit for this one so this is the final equation or we call it a continuity equation for we get which is the delta or delta x a and density velocity multiplied by a now we are talking about uniform uh, area here so the final equation becomes this one d over delta x del density velocity multi is equal to d over delta t uh, porosity and density well in we here we are just discussing the basic review equation we are not deriving them derivations i will provide you derivations so you can look into them we are just reviewing what are the equations that are used in the uh, in the reservoir simulators for conservation of mass momentum and energy so we talk about the conservation of mass we take this lab we took the control volume we call it a delta x from the x here the fluid is moving inside mass is going inside from here is going out so here mass into x element and based on this we set up the equation because mass is equal to velocity density and area of this one so we put velocity density area minus out and this is the difference between both of them that we found out so just divide by delta x we took the limit and this is the final equation that we got got out of it okay so this is the, we call it a continuity equation that is used in uh, reservoir simulation then we have the conservation of uh, mass uh, momentum well conservation of momentum usually is uh, uh, governed by navier stokes equation okay but uh, is normally simplified for low velocity flow in porous media to be described by sempre empirical darcy's equation which is for one dimensional horizontal flow is this one well in normal reservoir simulation we use the navier stokes equation but here in uh, so we are since we are talking about the single dimension single phase so we can consider you could use the darcy's equation here so let me show you the navier stokes equation which is uh, also used in reservoir simulation so let me show you it so this is the navier stokes equation in fluid mechanics a partial differential equation which describes the flow of incompressible fluids and uh, this is the final equation that you have this is the in, where u is the velocity fluid velocity vector because we we have to keep the direction in which direction the fluid is flowing p is the fluid pressure as you see p here density is the fluid density as we know this is the viscosity term that we have here here is the viscosity and then we have this operator which is the laplace operator that we are talking in all of this we have the laplace <coughs> operator or the gradient differential operator so the differential operator we are talking about is actually the second derivative and offers the subscript indicating the partial derivatives here so so in this case we are using this uh, darcy's law and uh, we will because we are talking about the one dimension here and so on as we increase the dimensions we can go for the other uh, navier stokes equation here as we talked about then for high velocity we have this fortzmir equation which is delta p over delta x again we have term of velocity viscosity and permeability formation volume factor and so on okay 
this is the equation for both porous and non-porous medium so again as i said we are not deriving equation here we are just telling you showing you what equations are used in the reservoir simulations so this is the momentum equation that are we are using for the single phase mostly okay then uh, So, <clears throat> conservation of momentum for single phase, we are using this moment, uh, Darcy's law, and so on. Now, since as you know that we are dealing with the reservoirs, and reservoir has a certain porosity and permeability, so to include this uh, porosity term and its dependency on the overburden pressure, overburden uh, pressure, the weight that the layers are putting, we use the compressibility factor here and uh, we describe the rock compressibility as a function of porosity and the pressure so this term is is also included in the in this uh, reservoir simulation equations and uh, as you as we discussed that we are talking about isothermal equations we are not talking about the uh, the reservoir which has different temperatures around so in this case this is the final equations Will, it will become for compressibility and we are talking about the, the incompressible fluids and we talk about that the total compressibility is zero actually it is not but there is some minor uh, compressibility or existing if you remember from the uh, reservoir engineering book the compressibility of the fluid so we said that original change in volume over original volume or change in temperature this is the fluid compressibility that we are talking about here and then the volume and pressure is equal to nrt for the real gas law because under high pressure high temperature this equation is not valid so we have to consider the c factor and the, the gas density based on this one this is the equation these are the density gas equations that are used in usual reservoir engineering uh, calculations mostly so these uh, these were the conservation of mass and momentum equations and now we talk about this uh, the reservoir simulation models what kind of models we have and uh, what kind of uh, equations we use in here in reservoir simulation so let's talk about the we have two models basically we talk we said that the one is the, the black oil model and uh, the other one is the compositional model compositional sorry it went somewhere this is the one is the black oil model and the other one is the Compositional. So we have two models, black oil and composite. In black oil, when we talk about the black oil, we talk about the phases only. We said that we have oil, we have gas, we have water. We talk about like this in phases. In compositional model, we don't we don't talk like that. We talk about how much C1 we have. We talk about the composition, how much C2 we have how much c3 we have how much c4 we have how much c5 we have until you make your mole percent 100 percent so that's a different here you see that we are talking about the phases okay what we have oil gas and water then we which dependent parameters we have here we talk about right now in this lectures and here we talk about their critical properties how much pressure they have how much temperature they have and uh, how much the the refractor and formation volume factor and all this also for them but mainly they, we talk about the critical property including the molecular weight critical temperature critical pressure and so on but here we talk about the their parameter like formation volume factor viscosity and gas oil ratio and and so on so let's look at how this black oil model and right now we are going to discuss this this one and see how it, 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 it is working here so we said that we have the black oil fluid description or compositional one as I showed you now in this one we are discussing right now the black oil one the first one 
and uh, three factors are important in this black oil model or reservoir simulation model. It depends on the formation volume factor, gas oil solution gas oil ratio, okay, and uh, viscosity and density of each group. Four factors actually are important. Mm -hmm. This formation volume factor, solution gas oil ratio, viscosity and density. Now first of all, what is formation volume factor? So let's discuss formation volume factor first before we go ahead. Now the question comes here that what is the formation volume factor? Well, here in the simplest form, we can say that the formation volume factor is volume at reservoir condition divided by volume at standard conditions. So what is it actually? So let's look at it and let me try to explain what is it. Well, assume that we have this reservoir here, a reservoir, and uh, it has a well here, well here, and uh, this reservoir let me fill this reservoir. This reservoir has filled with oil. Okay. Now let's take the <coughs> sample. Okay. This one shows the reservoir. This two is the well bore. Now when we have this reservoir oil it starts to move up. Let's say it is going up. You can change color to and dark brown. Okay, let's say this is the reservoir. So when this small oil moves up, When this oil moves up here, its volume decreases, and uh, okay. So we are discussing the formation volume factor. We said that this one is the reservoir one, and this one is the well bore two, and this one is the fluid stream. Now, what is happening here? in this one this reservoir has oil and when this oil starts to moving outside of the well bore as i showed you in this diagram the lower part from here to here you see is bit the, is, is the volume is more here in the second zone the volume is less so this is volume one this is volume two and here in this third zone the volume become much more less here at this point at, at this point number three why this volume is decreasing from the reservoir to the surface so here the volume is more here is volume is high what is the difference the difference first of all is that here in the reservoir the pressure and temperature is very high let's say pressure is 2000 psi or 2500 psi and temperature is 100 degrees centigrade but with the same oil when it comes to the surface the pressure and temperature conditions are changed the standard conditions are achieved and standard what are the standard conditions 14.7 psi and 60 degree Fahrenheit but in the reservoir temperature is let's say 100 degree and pressure is 2000 psi and so on so what is happening when the oil is coming out of this well bore the gas is coming out of a solution and this oil has some gas bubbles inside it has a small 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 gas bubbles inside and trap so when the pressure is declining when it is coming out of the well bore the gas is coming out of this oil so there are now two different phases oil and gas both that's why the oil volume is reducing and gas is making a separate shape now the reduction in oil volume which is happening because of the removal of gases 
is considered that how much is the change is in volume is called as the formation volume factor here so that's the formation volume so formation volume factor is the reduction in volume of the oil which is happening from the reservoir to the surface because of the pressure decline and gases and because of the gases coming out of the solution this is the formation volume factor then we have the another term which is the dissolved gas in water or oil this is how much gas is dissolved inside the oil so these are the two terms that are considered and you have to define in the uh, in the uh, black oil models Now we talk about the uh, dependency on black oil parameters. What are the parameters that are important when we talk about the black oil simulator? Well, we compare the formation volume factor of water, gas, and oil with respect to pressure. As I said, the formation volume factor is the change in volume which is happening from reservoir to surface because of change in pressure mainly. And the viscosity of, of water, viscosity of gas, viscosity of water pressure so let's look at this one so as the pressure is declining from the for example pressure in the reservoir here is 2000 psi and as the pressure is declining you see the water uh, formation volume vector is increasing here it is and but the increase is linear yes but here the, as the formation of the gas because gas is coming out so gas is here is increasing a lot the formation volume factor in this one first for the oil first it is increasing but then it is declining the formation volume factor because the gas is coming out of a solution in this case and this is the pressure versus viscosity of water so viscosity as you see that as the pressure is declining the viscosity is declining also also here is the pressure versus gas viscosity as the pressure is declining, the gas viscosity is decreasing also. Here is it again decreasing, then increasing because the formation volume. So, this is important in the oil section because the formation volume factor first increasing, then decreasing, and viscosity of oil is first decreasing and then viscosity is increasing of oil because the gas is coming out and it is occupying the less space that is happening here. And this is the solution gas oil. Well, till the bubble point pressure and bubble point pressure when the first gas coming out. So dissolved gas till the bubble point is constant. But right now when the gas coming out, the gas starts declining when the pressure declines. So this is actually the bubble point. After that, the the gas starts to come out and oil becomes separate and less so dissolved gas is happening there so these are the basic dependency of this one so the flow equation uh, for black oil model has three main parameter which is formation volume factor as we said uh, formation volume factor this is the it has the compressibility porosity it is the formation volume factor this is the permeability and this is the change in pressure with, with respect to distance and change in uh, porosity over formation volume factor. So this is the final flow equation which is used in the reservoir simulators here. Again, as I said, we are not deriving the equation here. We are just reviewing what are the equations available that are used in the reservoir simulations one. So that's all for this uh, today's lecture part one. We will continue in the part two onwards. And have a good day. And if you have any questions, you are uh, most welcome to email me uh, if you have any questions regarding them.